This year's AFC Championship game will look a lot different than last year's. And of course, it's all due to the pandemic. Yeah, Dia, last year a sold out crowd cheered on the Chiefs as they defeated the Tennessee Titans to advance to the Super Bowl. But with the coronavirus this year, there is limited capacity. But those fans will likely be just as loud and proud today. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling is live outside Arrowhead with more on the fans who are out tailgating, Nick. Well, there's a lot of excitement with fans eagerly anticipating watching that game in person inside here at Arrowhead Stadium. But as you guys mentioned, it does look a lot different. Instead of a sea of red, there's a sea of these orange cones. Of course, that's because of the COVID-19 protocols the Chiefs are putting in that make sure that everyone is spaced out. But that's not stopping the party from happening. In fact, all those tailgaters are behind me, uh, about 100 yards away from me over there. And that's where the party is happening as we know Chiefs fans know how to put one on and have a mean tailgate with the food and music and having a good time before the game today but we also saw a little speckling of blue in the crowd as well as Bills Mafia is here in Kansas City as well cheering on their team as they face the Chiefs today and so we talked about the fans about their excitement for this game and this matchup. It's a party every day. You know, you just have fun and, I mean, look at it. Where else would you want to be? It's still Arrowhead. Uh, not quite as loud, but uh, the folks that are showing up are really excited and enthused about the team. I'm a lifelong Bills fan. My kids are lifelong Bills fans, so we've been to a lot of games, but uh, we've never been to an AFC Championship game, so here we are. Some Chiefs take a holder, season ticket holders tell me it's a little bit more subdued this time around than when they went to the games last year, especially for that AFC Championship game last year as well. But that's not stopping them from having a great time. As you guys mentioned, capacity is limited. It's at 17, or excuse me, uh, 22%, which is about 17,000 fans inside Arrowhead. But that's not going to stop them from being raucous when the game starts later on. Reporting live outside Arrowhead, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.